As to how we structured the series, we decided to divide it up into a series of scenarios, a sort of small, self-contained scenes that then would bolt together to produce a half hour. Now with CGI, you can make anything happen, but of course, that's not what we want to do. We don't want to just sort of like make anything up and have you know, kung fu dinosaurs or whatever it is. It needs to be based on things that are reasonable. So our first point was to cast our net wide. You end up collating all these papers. Some of them suggest themselves straight away. You've got a bone with a particular bite mark that tells you a story. Everything's there and you think, well, that's the cornerstone of the scenario. That bone. It's a mystery. What bit it? You realise dinosaur behaviours, or preserved dinosaur behaviours, are very rare. And yet that is the thing that the scenarios need more than anything else. Something that tells you something interesting. Something that tells you a little bit of insight into how dinosaurs lived and died. So you start looking at natural history scenarios as well and thinking, is that reasonable to take that behaviour and graft it onto a dinosaur? And that's where you're into a kind of an area that's sort of slightly greyer, but nonetheless, as long as you kind of feel it's viable, justifiable, then we kind of felt, well, that's a reasonable behaviour because it's a fundamental instinct. So what you end up with is a kind of fruit cocktail of evidence. Some of it from the dinosaur behavioural evidence, preferably. Some of it from natural history scenarios that you feel appropriate to graft onto certain behaviours. Something that feels like, yes, this is reasonable. This could have happened. But it all needs to be based on the best evidence. Yeah.